Hello, hello, dear viewers. Welcome to our channel. It's very good to have you here. In this video, we are going to discuss about the radiator cap. We will be looking at the operating principle of the radiator cap, and then we will discuss some of the symptoms, seven symptoms indicating that you need to replace this radiator cap. Well, when, you, when we see the function of the radiator cap, it mainly has two functions. One function is it will be used to pressurize the cooling system. So when the cooling system is pressurized, the boiling point will increase. So coolant will remain for a long period without boiling. So when the cooling system is pressurized, you will have nice cooling. So that will be accommodated by the radiator cap. See, here we have a pressure valve. When only the pressure is strong enough to overcome this spring force, there is a spring there, when only the cooling pressure is sufficient enough to overcome that pressure, it will lift the pressure valve, this pressure valve will be lifted up, and then coolant will start leaking to the reservoir. So the pressure valve, it operates, it serves to increase the cooling system pressure. That is one function. Now as the engine cools down, vacuum will be created inside the cooling system because the already expanded cooling system coolant will now start to shrink. In order to prevent excess vacuum from building up in the cooling system, either coolant has to be returned from the reservoir to the cooling system or if the cooling system is vented to the atmosphere, air has to be allowed into the system. Otherwise, that will cause shrinkage to the cooling system components. That is allowed by a vacuum valve on the radiator cap. See, here we have this tiny valve. See this tiny valve that opens? This is a vacuum valve. This vacuum valve will allow coolant to return to the cooling system from the expansion tank or if the radiator is vented to the atmosphere, it will allow air to be admitted into the cooling system, preventing shrinkage of the cooling system components. So this is how the radiator cap operates. We have two valves. One is a pressure valve where you see this very large gasket and uh, a tough spring on the back. This will be opened only when a designated pressure is built up inside the cooling system. The opening pressure of the cooling system is usually written here on the radiator. For example, here it says 0.9 bar. So that will be the opening pressure of this radiator cap. So the pressure valve prevents coolant leakage from the cooling system unless that pressure is obtained. When that pressure is reached, however, it will allow expansion of the cooling system and it will open up and uh, regulate that pressure at this value. When the cooling system cools down, this vacuum valve opens and allow coolant return to the cooling system or air return to the cooling system. Now, when this function is disturbed, we will have some indications. For example, the number one indication of a bad radiator cap is engine overheating. So when the sealing is not effective, for example, when this sealing is not properly done, coolant will start leaving the cooling system below this pressure value. That will lead to engine overheating. Less pressurized cooling system will lead to engine overheating. So the number one symptom of a bad radiator cap is engine overheating. The other symptom of a bad radiator cap is too much fluid in the reservoir. As the spring tension, as this pressure spring loses its tension over time, the radiator cap starts opening at less pressure than originally designed for. And also if there is a problem with this seal, if there is a problem with the sealing device, that will also cause excessive water leakage from the cooling system to the expansion tank. So if you find excess fluid accumulated inside the reservoir tank, that will be an indication of a bad radiator cap. Usually bad radiator cap spring or 
bad pressure seal because that will cause quick release of coolant from the cooling system and leading to reservoir overflow. That is another symptom. The third indication of a bad radiator cap is cooling leakage. If this radiator cap is, for example, stuck open, that will cause leakage. Or if there is a broken spring, or if there is a weak spring tension, that will lead to coolant leak. So coolant leak can also be done when there is a failure on this gasket material and on this back seal. That will also lead to coolant leak. So the third symptom of a bad radiator cap is coolant leak. When it comes to the fourth symptom, when there is a leakage of coolant on the radiator, we happen to have some whitish substance accumulated on the leakage area. For example, if this is not sealing properly, coolant will leak to the radiator neck. So if you find some whitish substance accumulated on the radiator neck, around the radiator neck and uh, around on the radiator itself, this shows that the cap is not sealing properly and it needs to be replaced. So the fourth symptom is whitish substance accumulated on the cooling system components, especially on the neck area can be an indication. The fifth symptom of the failure of a cooling system radiator cap is air in the system. As we have previously mentioned, if the radiator is vented to reservoir, only fluid exchange will take place. When, fuel ex when the coolant expands, it will open the pressure valve and then goes to the reservoir. When the engine cools down, the vacuum valve opens then coolant will return from the reservoir to the radiator. If that is not accommodated by the radiator cap, that will introduce air into the system. So if the cap is not properly sealing, air could enter into the system. And instead of sucking in fluid from the reservoir, now it will start sucking in air from outside. This will lead to air pockets build up inside the cooling system and that will gradually lead to engine overheating. So air in the cooling system is also an indication of bad radiator cap. The sixth symptom of bad radiator cap is associated with hose burst. If the radiator, when the pressure designated by the manufacturer reached, it should open and allow expansion of the cooling system. But somehow, if that is prevented, if the radiator cap stuck closed, cooling system pressure will build up extremely, leading to hose burst. Or some weak spots on the radiator or the cooling system or the heater core will start bursting and leaking. So excess pressure buildup is caused by a stuck radiator cap. So that will be an indication of bad radiator cap. And finally, the seventh symptom of a bad radiator cap is hose collapse. Well, when engine is cooling down, as we have previously discussed, the vacuum valve, this vacuum valve opens, this vacuum valve opens and allows coolant return from the reservoir to the radiator. Now, if that is not happening, the vacuum will cause hose to collapse. Vacuum buildup in the cooling system will lead to hose collapse or other weak components to collapse. That vacuum should be handled by the vacuum valve on the radiator cap. Either it should allow coolant return or it should allow air entrance into the system if the radiator is vented to the atmosphere. If this vacuum valve is not working properly, that will lead to hose collapse as excessive vacuum builds up when engine cools down. So that is also another indication of bad radiator cap. So dear viewers, these are some of the indications that tell you to replace you radiator cap. If you happen to notice any of this, 
just go and get a new radiator cap. Very cheap stuff. Well, that's all we have for you in this presentation. Hope that video was very helpful. If you like this video, please smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever we come up with another automotive related video. Till then, stay safe.